is an engineering mathematics question based upon graph theory we have been given a graph called as peterson's graph it is an undirected graph and based upon that we need to answer which of the given statements is or are true so this is an msq type of question first one is saying that the chromatic number of the graph is 3 which means we can paint this graph in minimum of three colors let us see that we paint this node as red then it's adjacent ones these three cannot be red this one can be red this can be red and the last this one can also be red now let us change the color let us say we are painting this to be green green and then this one can also be green and this one is also green now the remaining two will be painted in blue so yes we could paint all the nodes of this graph in just three colors so its chromatic number is three now second option is saying that the graph has a hamiltonian path what does the hamiltonian path mean that starting from any given node we can cover all the other nodes in that graph and if that is possible then we say that it has hamiltonian path and if we are able to come back to the same vertex once again then we say that it has hamiltonian cycle so let us see if it is possible starting from let us say this node we can move like this covering all the outer vertices first we are traveling along the edges and covering all those nodes which come along the way we can move like this or oh, this one is not possible because these two nodes are not directly connected so we will just avoid this one and from this blue node we can come to this red node then from this red to that green and then from green to this green so yes in this way we have covered all the nodes in the graph but the starting vertex and this ending vertex both are different similarly we can check for all other hamiltonian paths in the graph and we will find out that it does have a hamiltonian path but not a Hamiltonian cycle. So option B is correct. Now coming to the third one, it is saying that the following graph, this one is isomorphic to the Peterson graph, which was already given. Now for checking the isomorphism, what we usually do is we check the number of vertices. It is same for both number of edges. It is same for both. Then we check the number of uh, nodes having a particular degree. So for example in this graph we can see that there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 nodes and all of them are having degree 3 and that is also same for the given graph. Also if we try to map them then let us say this lower polygon this can be mapped to all the the inner star in our graph and the outer these five they can be mapped to the outer five nodes in the original graph. So this is how these two can be mapped to each other and we will find out that they are indeed isomorphic. So option C is also true and now coming to the last one, the size of the largest independent set of the given graph is three. And what is an independent set? A subset of vertices of a graph forms an independent set if no two vertices of the subset are adjacent which means we basically have to divide a graph into two parts such that in one part all of those vertices which are present none of them will be adjacent to each other and what is the size of the largest such component that we can form let us check out in the given graph let us have a look at all of these red nodes there are four in total these four the red nodes all of them are not adjacent to each other and when we take a component of this graph in which all of these four red nodes are included then it will form an independent set for sure because all of them are a part of this graph and also all of them are not adjacent to each other so this is a possible independent set for this graph can we include any other as well let us check can we include this green node in our independent set no because it is adjacent to these two red nodes can we include this blue node? No, because it is adjacent to this red node. What about this green node? Cannot include. Even this cannot be included. This cannot be included. So we can only have an independent set consisting of these four red nodes. Or similarly, we could say these four green nodes. 
So in that way, we have a largest independent set of size four in our graph and not three. So those option D is incorrect. So we got A, B and C as our answer.